everyone, welcome to another exciting Minecraft episode. I'm Tyken, and today I want to show you something I've been working on. Sorry to start off very bland, but I kind of want to show you the stark differences on what I've been doing. Now, this is the old lake I've had by my house forever. And you can kind of see here, this is right by the front door and just a little path leading across. And a long time ago, this was just like a regular river, except it had a huge peninsula sticking out right about here. And the water just went all the way around, and it... I wanted a big pool of water, so I dug that out, but I've never done anything with it. However, now that they've been an underwater update, I thought it would be the perfect time to actually make this look good, and we're going to be switching to that right now. All right, we are back, and as you can see, there is a very stark difference, and I'm not just talking about all the vegetation nearby, but I've put a lot of effort into this little lake. Uh, I don't want to spin around because this I've been working on other stuff, and I don't want to show any spoilers. But I want to show off what I've done with this lake. And as you can see, there's a bunch of little details that some of you may not have thought of or considered adding into your little world. Uh, the first thing I've done, I've been on detail craft a lot to give credit where credit is due. I've seen people put uh, dirt paths next to the shores to kind of look like washed away land. And it works really well, especially against like sand, because it essentially looks like wet sand. Uh, you can kind of do it along the shore of grass as well, and it kind of just looks like uh, it's been eroded away a little bit, like just starting to become sand, but not quite. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've added uh, sea cucumbers on top of bamboo. Uh, I've seen on another post where people use stained glass to do the same effect. However, I did not like it entirely because you can't really put a bunch of stained glass together. It doesn't have any of the leaves, and it, it just doesn't look as good. Now the main problem with uh, the bamboo versus the stained glass is all of the bamboo is always off-centered. I'm not sure why. I guess they did that to make it look a little more natural. But it makes the sea cucumbers look like they're crooked. However, when you're at eye level, you can't honestly tell too much unless you're super up close. And as you're just walking by, it looks almost entirely natural. Like the, the heads of the, of the reeds are just kind of leaning over. Uh, these are obviously meant to look more like cattails. Uh, at least the closest thing we have. The other downside is you can't put them in water, you can only just put them on the shore, which is, again, kind of a sad thing, but the best you can do given what you have. Um, originally, I wanted to add a bunch of lily pads everywhere in the lake, but then I realized lily pads don't work like that in real life, and it honestly just didn't look good. Uh, lily pads tend to grow in still water, and they tend to not last very long during um, like moving water. So since this used to be a lake and there is still technically a lake flowing through it, I put uh, lily pads along the edges, the more shallower parts, with some spreading out into the deeper part just because the water is going to wash them inshore. And uh, then it's more dense towards the shores. Uh, I also added a lot more vegetation in select areas. I've sprinkled in some cattails here and there. I have some hanging jungle vines. Oops, I added a little boat in the middle of the lake just to uh, have something there. Not the best boat in the world, but it's the best I could come up with, uh, at least on short notice. Um, you can also see that I sprinkled in a few of the, uh, the Minecraft paths along the edge of the shore to show just the little spots where it's eroded away, and in the spots that would make the most sense anyway. Uh, speckled in a little bit of cattails here and there just to kind of make it look like it's not just one big forest of them. Uh, over here, this is a big patch uh, that's kind of interrupted by a little bit of eroded shore. Not quite where they want to grow, because again, they, they don't tend to grow in very uh, flowy places. So a little bit of stagnant water. Um, all along the edges here, kind of, I, I didn't want to go too far, but it's the same idea, kind of all the way down the path. Lots of trees with uh, vines hanging over, uh, speckles of cat's tails a lily pad here and there in the less busier parts and the eroded shore occasionally along the land and then for the water itself as you could see before it was just very very bland nothing down there before very flat because i had to dig away a bunch of land and i didn't really leave anything so you can see here i added a few small details uh if you're wondering why my lily pads have roots it's part of the texture pack using doku craft light and that is an amazing feature, just as a side note. But uh, I added a bunch of little things, including the ruins of a sunken boat. Uh, didn't do a great job because they weren't supposed to look super great, but I added some uh, drenched and waterlogged 
uh, campfires to make it kind of look like eroded, rotting away supports for the uh, parts of the boat. I added some, I want to say that's, yeah, Asadia uh, trapdoors to make it look like little uh, crab pots. And, you know, generally uh, any kind of bottom dweller traps you can easily catch, which makes sense with a fishing boat. Uh, I added some sunken logs. I really wanted to do some at angles, but it it's really hard to make them look good at an angle since there aren't any like log stairs or slabs. And if you try to use planks, it just doesn't look the same. Uh, then I've added a couple of uh, random rocks just kind of sticking into the water. Some of them are in the ground. Some of them just use a little bit of slab. Some of them are towering out a little bit. Kind of want to do some variation uh, just as you have some land poking up out of the ground, you want some dips in the ground as well. Uh, I added a bunch of sea pickles just because uh, they light up the water and make it look really good at night, which I'm going to show off in a second. And then besides all that, there's not much to show off. I added another uh, sunken barrel, kind of as a like a, little, like a little chest for part of the sunken boat that's dropped down, just like the chest over here. And of course, plenty of salmon. I tried adding more artificially, but they love to just beach themselves for some reason. But yeah, I hope you all appreciate all of this that I've done, because I am very proud of it. Let's go ahead. Oops. Need to set my game mode to that, since this isn't traditionally a creative world. As you can see, everything looks, in my opinion, dramatically better. Um, the cattails give off just a little bit of light. Not enough to really brighten everything up, but it's enough to see everything in the darkness, which adds so much, in my opinion. Um, it, it also kind of illuminates all the features that you want to show off, and all of the, the darker parts of the, the areas where not much is going on. Uh, in the water, the, the, the quadruple stack, I could probably honestly go down to less just to make it more of an ambient light, but I really want to show off how everything looks. And as you can see from like on the top up here, just everything shines through like it's just a beautiful aquarium. And I am incredibly proud of this entire build. And I hope you all appreciate it, uh, learn something new. Uh, and I will see you guys next time.